games. Uh, and I just wanted to come out here and compete, you know, play at a high, high level, uh, show, show different things, the versatility, and uh, I had a lot of fun. I think I did that. Being a three, almost well, four-year guy at Kansas, yeah. probably played in a, bit, a lot of big-time games uh, with the Jayhawks in the tournament last year. What is that experience? How do you think that kind of helps set you apart from maybe some of the younger younger guys here? Uh, this comes with maturity. Um, you know, my experience at Kansas have definitely helped me out a lot. Uh, obviously, winning national championship gives me a lot of different different uh, looks at the game as far as you know how to compete. You know, we're down 15 and find a way to come back and. You know, just being a winner, just being able to, to, to be called a winner is, is something special my whole pride to. And, uh, you know, there's not a lot of guys that just walk around the national champions. Uh, so it's, a, it's definitely a blessing. You got a much bigger opportunity this year at Kansas with some guys leading last year. How were you able to take advantage of, you know, more shot attempts, more minutes? How do you think you uh, capitalize on those, you know, that stuff this year? I just understand what my team needed from me. Uh, coming back to school, coach said that's what I was going to have to do for us to be successful. And uh, you know, I'm a guy that does anything to win. And if coach is asking me to, to, to I need to score and be aggressive and, and lead the team, and that's exactly what I would do. And uh, you know, I had fun with it, and it was a great experience. And lastly, what are you taking from this experience right now? Uh, whether it's feedback, and how excited are you to kind of, I guess, you know, take the next step when you start doing more and more workouts leading up into the to draft night next month? No, I'm super excited. Uh, this has been something I've been dreaming of for the for my whole life, and uh, you know it's not too far away. And I'm just super excited to get get to teams, get to working out, uh, show different parts of my game that maybe they haven't seen or maybe they want to see more of, and uh, just just get some more competing. You didn't have to mention the national title. I had to, Same. man. I had to. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, I love it, man. Thank you so much, Jim. Thanks. Thank you. Hey, how are you doing? How you doing? Just graduated from KU too, so for real? Yeah, yeah. Oh, rock shot, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rock man. So yeah, thank you for giving us that national for championship. Sure. It yeah, is sick. Yeah. Um, but first off, I just wanted to ask: you came, you came here last year, had great feedback. What was one of the things that drew you to go back to college? Was it just you know either to go back try to win it again? Was it you felt like you needed to work on stuff? What was that like? A little bit of everything. Um, I understood that. I had a lot of expectations for myself. I uh, wanted to go back to school. I felt like I had more on the table to give, not only for, for the team, but for the school, for the community. And, uh, you know, I feel like me going back to school really changed my life, man. I, I got to accomplish a lot of different things. I uh, had different opportunities now from going back to school, and I learned a lot more, matured a lot more as a man. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't change nothing. And as a guy who's won a national championship, you're probably someone who, you know, teams would see as you know more NBA ready, being older and all yeah. that. What do you think your ability to impact basketball right now coming out would be like? Uh, I just think my awareness gives me a slight edge. Uh, me being aware of what I can do at the next level, and I feel like I can rebound, defend, uh, make open shots, and, and, and read a closeout the right way. I think those four things are something that, you know, if I can do at a high level, um, I feel like, you know, just be one of those guys you can't take off the floor because he's doing so much, you know, on both hands. And uh, I feel like I can do that. And what teams have you worked out for or plan on working out with? Uh, I haven't worked out for any teams yet, but uh, I think my first workout is Clippers. So we'll go from there. Good organization for you. Great one. Great yeah. one. Yeah. And looking at your game, who's somebody that you say has influenced you or somebody you are watching tape of regularly? Uh, I watch a lot of Josh Hart. I like his versatility. He's a winner as well, won at Villanova, um, and is looking to win in the NBA. I uh, see him as a guy. Obviously, I'm a little bit taller, but uh, you know he's a guy that, that plays hard, plays on both ends of the floor, um, and is able to, to impact the game, we, even without scoring. And what's one thing you have said in your last few years in college was the biggest attribute uh, attributed to your growth? Uh, obviously, just being coached by Coach Self, you know, one of the greatest. And him, him allowing me to have the freedom to, to not only learn more about myself, but being able to lead a team. And uh, he gave me a lot of good freedom and a lot of good feedback. And, and uh, I, I give a lot to him for being able to coach me like that. Sweet. Thanks, Jalen. Great talk, man. Watch out, man.